Hey nerds, Todd Simmons here with uh, another Toddimation video for you. Uh, today I just want to show you real quick how to create an inventory with just the local host uh, and maybe why you would want to do it. So let's jump right into it real fast. Uh, in order to create a new inventory, it's simple. You just go to the hamburger and then you go to inventories. So from inventories, you can go add and then add inventory. And then I'm going to name this local host only. Um, the organization, I'm going to make it default, which means everybody can use it. I think that's important. Um, we're not going to use insta uh, instance groups, but for the description, uh, we'll just give it a quick description. Okay, and then we are going to save that. Now, that's just the inventory, right? There, there's nothing um, actually associated with it. So what we want to do then is go into hosts. So when we go into hosts, we're going to click on add, and we're simply just going to call it localhost, all lowercase. Now, one of the reasons that you would want to do this is to have different variables associated um, with the local host. And, and here are the, the, the two that I like to use. So Ansible underscore connection local. This is actually telling it uh, that we're using the local computer. Uh, the ansible.cfg file uh, actually uses for localhost the term local. Uh, the other thing that I like to add is the Ansible Python interpreter. Uh, I like to use the Jinja 2 uh, for Ansible Playbook Python. When you do that, just go ahead and click on Save. Uh, that'll save uh, that in there so you can look at it, go back into your inventories, go back into localhost only, you look in your host, and now you have your local host set to it, right? Uh, and you can run commands uh, just to validate anything against it at this point. So now that we created the local host, we can just put a check mark next to it here uh, and then click run command just to see if it works, right? So I'm going to choose a module. Uh, the easiest one is just ping. It doesn't really require any arguments. Um, I'll change the verbosity to verbose. We don't have to get uh, debug level. Um, don't need to save changes. Uh, do any of that. Let's just enable privilege escalation. Uh, let's just choose the Ansible engine, which is the default execution environment with this one. Um, you have to have a machine credential. There's a demo credential that's actually installed by default that you can use for this test. And we can go next and we can launch it. And we're just waiting for the output. And there it goes. We were able to do our login. So it pinged and it received a response. So it calls it a Pong. And that's it. You created a new inventory and then added just the local host to that inventory. That way, you know, when you're trying to do something initially and you're like, you know what, I just want to test it on the, the Ansible controller, which is, you know, what we're working with right now. Uh, you can see if it works or not. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe below. And we'll talk to you all later, nerds. Bye.